Hello, good morning to all. Myself Vinayanjan Patnaik. Today I am going to discuss about the frequency division multiplexing. In the last uh, class, we have already discussed about the space division multiplexing. So, frequency division multiplexing is a signal transmission technology in which multiple signals can simultaneously be transmitted over the same line of a channel. So, frequency division multiplexing can be used in both wire and wireless networking for transmitting large amounts of data at high speeds. So, what is the main objective of using the frequency division multiplexing is that now when the number of the signals is less according to the demand of the customer that means when the consumer is greater than the available signals then this type of multiplexing techniques are adopted by the different telecommunication companies clear so through this uh, technique you can transmit a signals that means multi number of signals or more than one signals simultaneously over the same line or channel that means you can group num more than one number of uh, signals and you can throw all the, that signals through a single channel so in this case you can transmit number of signals through by, by using only one channel clear in this figure right here this is the sender 1, sender 2, sender 3 having 3 signals. To combine 3 signals by using the multiplexer technique, multiplexing technique and it is a device is known as the multiplexer which helps to combine 3 signals and move a single channel, right. This pink color mark is known as a channel and this uh, blue shadow marks known as the guard band. To, pro, to minimize the interference between the channels so there is a guard band is there at the other end there is a demultiplexer which help to demultiplex the combined signals right that means a demultiplex and send to the required device so demultiplex the signals and send to the required device yeah. so it is a frequency division multiplexing technique so advantage is that what i am said now through this uh, technique you can send more than one signals over one channel so uh, it is a very useful technique in the telecommunication system uh, by who is the total bandwidth available in a communication you can say communication medium is divided into a series of non-overlapping frequency bands and uh, what i'm discuss here the non-overlapping because uh, overlapping is the main uh, problem in the telecommunication systems because once the signal overlapped with each other that means signals will drop and the data will loss right now so you should uh, minimize that thing otherwise the performance of the communication should be less right now uh, into a series of uh, communication medium is divided into a series of non-overlapping frequency bands uh, non-frequency bands or you can say each of which is used to carry a separate signals and this allows a signal transmission medium such as cable or optical fiber to be uh, shared by multiple independent signals and another use is to carry separate serial bits or, or segments of a higher rate signals in parallel so this is applicable for both uh, wireless and wire medium uh, you can transmit the data through the wire medium that means the cable by using this technique then uh, you can also send the data by wireless medium also the same technique is used for both wire and the wireless medium. 
So here you are going to discuss some example of frequency division multiplexing is a radio and television broadcasting which multiple radio signals at different frequencies pass through the air at the same time. And another example of cable television in which many television channels are carried simultaneously on a single cable. FDM is also used by telephone system to transmit multiple telephone calls through high capacity trunk lines. So these are the uh, example except that the communication the satellite also that is a uh, also the example of the frequency division multiplex um, uh, multiplexing. So the best example that uh, you are you watching the television in your home or uh, in that there is only single cable is connected from your antenna to your setup box but multiple channels are passed through that cables now so that is the best example of the frequency division multiplexing or fdm clear so next is your uh, time division multiplexing it is another technique where the time is the main uh, component here the time division multiplexing uh, is a communications process that transmits two or more streaming digital signals over a common channel in TDM. Uh, incoming signals are divided into equal fixed length time slots. After multiplexing, these signals are transmitted over a shared medium and reassembled into their original format after demultiplexing. Time slot selection is directly proportional to overall system efficiency. So by using this technique, time is the main uh, component here. In time division, that means you are divide the time uh, in this technique. Uh, incoming signals are divided into equal fixed length time slots. That means in the picture, there is a frame concept is there. There is a source A source B and the source C. For source A, there are the components A1, A2 and A3 for time T, T, T. Similarly, for source B is B1, B2, B3 and source C, C1, C2, C3, right. Here, there are the frames and this A1, B1, C1, A1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B, that is the capacity of the frame. Uh, at a time, the three, uh, that is the frame, that is the, you can say that is the, uh, window you can have uh, there's the window size a1 v1 c1 these the windows are there so in this the capacity of this frame is three window because you are using here the source is uh, general the three source here a b c you are using here so what are the technique when the multiplexing in the tdm time division multiplexing once the uh, multiplexing started the same technique the frame is created randomly right automatically the frame is created and we, uh, whatever the size of the frame is predefined, but uh, that means how many type of windows, how much windows are we placed within one frame. Suppose here, suppose uh, discuss about the frame 1, when this frame 1 present here, that means the first frame 1, if, uh, uh, frame 1, that is a so time slots are given to each uh, source. Suppose the frame is now ready, move here from this side, from this uh, side. So, when the frame is placed in front of this multiplexer, suppose A1 is ready or any component of source A is ready to transmit, then it will be transferred to this window. So, here A1. Now, this is the first frame. Na? So, this is the A1. Next, uh, B1 is there. B1, suppose any component is ready to transmit, then B1 also transmit. Similarly, C1 is also transmit. Now the frame 1 is ready to move, then frame 1 will be discharged or will be executed. Similarly, frame 2 also same technique, same frame 3, same technique. But here is that, suppose the frame is uh, created and uh, at the time, suppose source A having no component or has no component to transmit, that means this place is vacant and frame also um, uh, shifted to the source B. That does not mean that suppose A uh, takes some more time to ready this component. That does not mean that the frame will must wait for that thing. No. Frame never wait for uh, any delay 
for from the any source right now it will move that is then fixed time period is given if within that time period if source is ready then okay if not ready then we leave that thing 